Hello, and thank you for joining today's webinar, Eliminate Serum to Gain Control of Your T-Cell Research. I'm Sandy Kuligowski, Senior Manager for Product Development of our Cell Therapy Systems product por portfolio. I work at Thermo Fisher Scientific, and today I'll be talking about a new Xenofree serum replacement product that we're currently developing. T-cells participate in a variety of cell-mediated immune reactions. T-cells are a type of white blood cells that they can use to help kill or directly kill invaders. There are multiple types of T-cells, helper T-cells, killer T-cells, and regulatory T-cells. There are multiple functions of T-cells. T-cells can destroy cells infected by viruses, graft cells, and other altered cells, such as cancer. Helper T cells stimulate the B cells and help killer cells develop. Killer T cells kill cells that are altered. Regulatory T cells can suppress immune responses, such as autoimmune responses and graft rejection. T cells also secrete cytokines, and they interact with antigen-presenting cells and induce maturation. T-cells can be used in therapy. Commonly used T-cells used in cell therapy include gene-modified T-cells. These are cells that have a novel receptor placed on the surface of the cell in addition to the native T-cell receptor or an engineered receptor to give an enhanced affinity to the antigen. CARs, or chimeric antigen receptors, are a type of gene-modified T-cell. These are T-cells isolated from a patient's blood and genetically engineered to produce special receptors on their surface called chimeric antigen receptors, or CARs. CARs are proteins that allow the T cells to recognize a specific protein antigen on tumor cells. These engineered CAR T cells are then grown in the laboratory until they number in the billions and are infused back into the patient to target specific antigens, such as those on the surface of cancer cells. There's other types of T cells that are also used in cell therapy. Pills or tumor infiltrating lymphocytes. These are cells pulled from a tumor with specific reactivity to a cancer antigen and expanded ex vivo. Antigen-specific T cells are cells exposed to antigen exogenously expanded and reinfused into patients. And regulatory T cells are cells that can suppress the classic immune response and are used for treating autoimmune disease. Many of the culture systems used to expand these various T cells include the requirement for supplemented human serum. Immunotherapy market trends, if you look at the publication trends, for both stem cells and other adult cells used in cell therapy, you'll see T cells is on the increase. There's also greater than 200 active T cell clinical trials, and also that the trials are growing at about 44% for T cells compared to other cell types, such as dendritic cells, which are actually declining, as well as hematopoietic stem cells. Industrial and academic researchers are focusing on their research in this area. Academic institutions such as NIH, UPenn, City of Hope, industrial customers such as Neostem, Novartis, GSK, Juno, are all making significant investments in the T-cell research space. Motivating factors for research in the cell therapy space include moving their culture systems away from animal origin containing products to serum-free media. They're also interested in scaling up and scaling out their processes to be able to generate the billions of T cells that will be needed. And pharma is also partnering with academia and biotech to license novel technologies for cell therapy. However, there are supply concerns associated associated with the serum that's used in these culture systems. Bruce Aline and Carl June published in Nature 
that serum-free is essential for cell therapy manufacturing processes. Also published in Regenerative Medicine, current start stocks and production rates of serum suitable for GMP manufacture will only be sufficient to support the production of one blockbuster cell therapy. And based on survey results of researchers in the T-cell research space, 15 out of 15 respondents surveyed indicated they would be interested in moving to a defined serum-free supplemented system for T-cell culture. We have in development a new product that is Xeno-free and addresses the supply risks associated with human serum using your T-cell culture workflow. This product is called CTS Immune Cell SR. The specifications include a functional four-day T-cell-based assay that's used to qualify every lot. We'll also do contamination testing such as QCR-based mycoplasma testing, USP sterility testing, and endotoxin testing, as well as donor-level virus testing. CTS immune cell SR is ready for your commercial success. The formulation contains only human and chemically defined components with harmonized documentation that include a certificate of origin, certificate of analysis, and a drug master file. Each lot is pre-qualified in a functional primary T-cell assay to help ensure consistent performance with every lot. The product is labeled as a class one in vitro diagnostic medical device with CEIVD mark and is GMP manufactured with a scalable process to ISO 13485 standards. This product also meets USP 1043 requirements for ancillary materials for cell, gene, and tissue engineered products. The product can replace human serum across different media systems as a simple substitution into your current workflow. And this will, can be used at both the cell activation, transduction, and cell expansion phases of your workflow. We have demonstrated that medium supplemented with our immune cell serum replacement shows consistent performance across lot, multiple lots. And it also supports high cell viability. This data was generated uh, following expansion of T cells isolated, isolated from peripheral blood mononuclear cells activated with our CTS Dynabead CD3, CD28 and cultured in either our optimizer media supplemented with the serum replacement or human serum or no serum. We've also shown that media supplemented with the CTS immune cell serum replacement maintains CD62L expression on CD4 and CD8 T cells similar to human serum supplemented media. Here we show comparison of ex vivo 15 and optimizer, both supplemented with either human serum or a serum replacement. Our CTS immune cell SR also supports activated polyclonal T cell expansion, similar to human serum. We evaluated several different concentrations of the serum replacement in our optimizer serum free media and evaluated cell expansion following seven days, also looking at total fold expansion of T cells. What we would recommend here is given the differences in performance, depending on the concentration you do, you do supplement with, we would recommend you do a titration uh, in your culture system to achieve the optimal performance and concentration of the serum replacement in your uh, respective media. We also looked at lentroviral transduction efficiency with optimizer supplemented with either human serum or serum replacement. Here T cells were transduced with a GFP car lentroviral construct typically used in generating gene modified T cells. And then the cells were analyzed for GFP fluorescent cells using flow cytometry. 
Here you can see similar transduction efficiency compared to human serum in our optimizer serum-free media. There are multiple benefits associated with our CTS immune cell serum replacement. It offers security of supply. We also have uh, qualified suppliers of our raw materials as well as multiple GMP manufacturing sites. We offer traceability and documentation with a COO, C of A, donor testing, and a drug master file. It'll help save time by min minimizing the need to qualify human serum. We have every lot that is qualified using a bead-based QC assay using primary T cells. We offer a scalable process and flexible use the product is generic enough to work with your standard media system. It's regulatory compliant, offering a CEIVD intended use, and it meets USP 1043 requirements for ancillary materials for cell gene and tissue engineered products. We've also seen superior performance in intracellular interferon gamma production when comparing our serum replacement to human AV serum. complementary CTS products for your T-cell workflow. We have a CTS grade Dynabead CD3, CD28, the Magnet. We have other serum-free medium that include AIM-5 and Optimizer, and these are compatible with supplementation with the immune cell serum replacement. We also offer CTS grade growth factors and buffers for washing your cells. product will be available soon and it will be available globally and this is the ordering information it will be available both in a 50 mil convenient size and also a 500 mil size please contact Sandy Kuligowski at sandra.kuligowski at lifetech.com thank you very much for attending this webinar and your interest in this product